Hello everybody, welcome to Minutes with PJ. Today's date, May 21st, 2016. Our discussion today is going to be on sufficient. Proverbs 10, 8, The wise man is glad to be instructed, but the self-sufficient fool falls flat on his face. Isaiah 40, 16, All the Lebanon forests do not contain sufficient fuel to consume a sacrifice large enough to honor him, nor are all of its animals enough to offer to our God. Jeremiah 49.31 Go, said the Lord to Nebuchadnezzar, attack those wealthy tribes living alone in the desert without a care in the world, boasting that they are sufficient that they need neither walls nor gates. Mark 14.55 Inside, the chief priests, the whole Jewish Supreme Court were trying to find something against Jesus that would be sufficient to condemn him to death, but their efforts were in vain. What I'm getting here is when we try to be self-sufficient, we are being foolish. The sacrifices that we give to God are nothing compared to the sacrifice God has given us through His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Those that think that they are self-sufficient were defeated easily by Babylon. The Jewish leaders and chief priests couldn't find anything sufficient enough to crucify Jesus. When Paul asked God to remove his thorn, Three times God told him, My grace is sufficient, and gave him the strength to complete his mission, preaching to the Gentiles. I want you to think about that today and have a blessed day.